Uh, today we are going to be grinding samples and we will be wearing our gloves and goggles to, for personal protection and to prevent contamination between the samples. You'll notice I put down a paper towel underneath our clean mortar and pestle that we'll be, getting, we'll be using today um, and we'll be using liquid nitrogen. To ensure there will be some spillage, unfortunately, as careful as we will be, of the sample and to help prevent contamination between grindings. We have two labeled 1.5 milliliter micro centrifuge tubes that we will be using to store the sample at the end and we have a sharpie to label those. We have some whey paper to obtain the sample on for ease of putting it in the mortar and we'll begin by cooling the mortar and pestle with liquid nitrogen. So carefully adding that to the mortar and pestle and it helps to just kind of move it around slightly careful it will splash a little and we'll be grinding two of our herbal supplements today which are just little pills so we'll begin while the mortar and pestle is cooling with opening the capsules so they just kind of twist open some of them are a little easier than others just twist and pull them apart gently and then we can pour them out onto our whey paper and we'll set the capsules off to the side for disposal And most of the powder just falls right out of the capsule. So while we did that, our liquid nitrogen had a chance to cool and evaporate in the mortar and pestle. And you'll know if you feel it, it'll feel cold. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our whey paper that we had folded before we added the sample to it and just pour it carefully into our mortar and pestle. I'll put the mortar, the pestle back into the mortar and we'll add a little bit of liquid nitrogen as carefully as possible to avoid the sample from spilling out of the mortar, though it is at times slightly unavoidable. And this will cool the sample, and we want the sample to stay nice and cold while we are grinding it. So while it cools down some and evaporates, we just are very carefully going to start to grind it. And it'll be easier to grind and not lose sample once some of the liquid nitrogen has evaporated. So it looks slightly powder-like, and then it'll be easier to grind into a super fine powder. The herbal supplements start as a powder to begin with, so you just want to make sure you thoroughly press down hard and grind the sample. More liquid nitrogen may be needed or required for complete grinding of the sample. Just remember to go slow with adding it to avoid sample loss. I have found that using two of the capsules gets you about 400 to about 800, 400 per capsule grams of sample powder to be used in DNA extraction. And we're just grinding the cells so that we can use these in DNA extraction. So, so the cells don't get and tissues don't get any don't get warm from grinding. We'll add a little more liquid nitrogen.
carefully begin grinding again. And you want to thoroughly grind the tissue so that you can get extract as much DNA as possible. That's looking like an extra nice fine powder. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our tubes pre-chilled in ice water. And then we're just going to take the tube and we can use our little tube rack. And we'll add a little liquid nitrogen to the mortar to aid in transfer. I found that pouring it onto the pestle helps to prevent any splashing of the sample. And then we just pour it in as much as possible. And then that's about half in one. And then we'll go ahead and do half in the other one. So we poured about half into our first container and we'll add a little more liquid nitrogen and add it to our second container. So we're going to add the mortar back, the pestle back here, just to aid in the transfer. And then we're going to let a little bit of that evaporate off, but not too much. And we're going to carefully let a little too much evaporate off that time. And we're going to carefully add it to our tube. on the transfer today. Dissolve it. And then carefully transfer it to the tube. And we have just a little bit more, so we'll just continue this until we get it all the rest, the last half of it transferred. And careful, the mortar will be a little cold. much of our sample as possible. Should be the last time. And that's all of the sample. And then we're just going to allow this to stay open for a little bit while all liquid nitrogen evaporates and it's allowed to warm just a little bit because it's really cold right now. And then we're going to save the powder in a minus 80 degree freezer for storage until we're ready to extract. And then our sample has dried. 